When Francis Drake sailed from Plymouth towards unknown waters, his vessel, the trustworthy Golden Hind, allowed him to circle the globe. Today's navigators use very different ships to discover other worlds and to push back the frontiers of knowledge. Exploration requires vision and perseverance. Projects have to be selected and driven over decades before results are obtained, as the European Space Agency's Director of Science knows full well. And lift off of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion mile trip uh, to Saturn. The scientists uh, designed yeah. this extraordinary yeah. mission yeah. Well, as we expect. Things are just going to on Earth, and we'll find out, by doing so, how things work at Earth too. Cassini's magnetometer, for which Professor Southwood was the project scientist, was developed over 20 years ago. With other instruments, it is today revealing the wonders of the Saturnian system. As his predecessors, ESA's Director of Science is now preparing future missions under a program called Cosmic Vision. The selected candidates will set sail between 2015 and 2025, with the scientists' proposals today structured into two categories. From the initial selection of 51 projects, four have been retained in each of the two categories with a few underlying priorities in the choices. When it comes to planning missions like the return to Saturn with the Tandem project, or a voyage to Jupiter's moon Europa with the Laplace project, Cassini Huygens' international effort is again a good example to follow. Orchestrating the selection process also requires the right decisions at the right times. As David Southwood surveys Plymouth Sound, there is no doubt that planning ESA's cosmic vision is for him an exhilarating task.